video, we're going to chat about your account settings and cover things like passwords, billing, invoices, and notifications. It's always a good idea to make sure that you maintain your account-wide settings, which is exactly what we'll cover here. Once you get going with your Buffer account, you might want to make sure that your email and password are up to date and adjust your other account settings. To see this information, you'll want to click on your profile avatar in the top right of your dashboard and then click on account. From here, you'll be able to change your password, email, or completely delete your Buffer account. You might also want to enable two-factor authentication on your account just to make sure that your account is extra secure. Enabling two-factor authentication adds an extra layer of security to your Buffer account. Whenever you log into your account, after entering your username and password, you'll be asked for a second authentication code. At the moment, two-factor authentication can only be enabled through Publish. If you're already subscribed to Analyze, you'll benefit from two-factor authentication as a result of it being enabled within Publish. However, if you're only using Analyze, it's not currently possible to enable two-factor authentication. We're really sorry for this limitation. To set this up, click on your profile avatar at the top right of your dashboard and then click Preferences. Next, select the Security tab, then toggle Two-Factor Authentication to Enabled. From there, follow the prompts on the screen to get set up with either SMS notifications or using an Authenticator app. You can see your own individual organization and any other organizations you belong to by clicking on the profile avatar at the top right of the page. Then you can select the organization that you wish to work with. You can switch between organizations depending on which social accounts you want to work with. Finally, you might want to adjust the name of your organization so that users who are part of multiple organizations can easily identify which one they're working on. By default, your organization will be named My Organization, but this can be changed by heading to your main dashboard, then clicking on Manage Channels at the bottom left of your dashboard. From there, go to the Organization tab on the left-hand side, and then rename the organization to something more relevant, such as your company name. You can also manage all of your billing details by clicking on your profile avatar, then heading over to Account, then Billing. From this page, you can see all of your organization information, such as your current plans, your trials, your payment method, and your invoices. If you want to adjust your plan details or cancel your plan, you can do so by clicking on the relevant buttons under your current plans. You can also move from monthly to yearly billing by clicking on the Change Plan button, then toggling between the monthly and yearly view. You can also choose to add a new card or update your existing card details under the Billing Methods section. Finally, if you want to download your invoices, scroll down to the Invoice section and then click on the Download PDF button next to the invoice that you wish to view. Next, we're going to chat a little bit about notification settings. If you would like to receive an email notification under certain circumstances, such as when your queue needs topping off or if a post fails to send, then you might want to visit the notification settings. Click on your profile avatar at the top right of your published dashboard and then click on Preferences. Then select the Notifications tab. From here, you can toggle the switch between Disabled and Enabled to make sure that you receive the email notification that you desire. I do want to note that these notification settings only impact your own Buffer account, not the account of the users on your team. If you want your team to receive certain notifications, please let them know to go into their own notification settings. All right, that wraps up the video on account settings. I hope you've learned a few new tips on how to manage your Buffer account. 